whatever that is right now. I am your son. You can write a course for me with good intentions, and I follow you. I don't believe marriage is more important to me than you do you in the future. Son, you should hold that to your heart. Everything is second to a father's will. That's the reason men pray for children, to have them growing up at home, boys, obedient, the kind to punish those who hate their father and honor those who love him as much as he does himself. The man who has worthless children, what has he got for himself but hardship and a laugh for his enemies? That's how things are. Don't throw out the principle for a little fun for the sake of a woman. Like a pauper in open rebellion. Her alone out of all the nations. <coughs> I won't be a leader who lies to his people. No, I will kill her. Let her sing a song to Zeus for the bonds of blood. If I rear a disorderly family, I am feeding general disorder. Anyone who's a good man inside this house is a just man where the state is concerned. The state. When she sets someone up, you must obey him in small matters, in just acts, and in both opposites. For my part, I am confident that a man willing to be ruled can himself rule well. He is the one who stands firm in the storm of battle, holds his post in front of you and by your side, rightly, nobly. Nothing is worse than lack of leadership. It destroys nations, drives men from their homes, smashes armies, makes allies defect. But when men are ruled right, their obedience to authority saves their lives. That's why we have to defend orderly people and never let women get the better of us. If we must fall, better to fall to a real man and not be called worse than women. In my belief, unless time has robbed me of discernment, you are speaking intelligently on this subject. Father, the God can take intelligence with you of all our properties, that is the supreme one. I have the power of the train to tell you you're wrong. That's just as well. But perhaps the second opinion of him will be valuable. I am not next to be responsible for anything concerning you, what people say or do, what and what fall in what can find with you. Because for the common man, the case is terrible. He can't find words to explain things that he sees. But I do hear this. Under cover of darkness, what our country says in grief for this girl, that no one is more innocent, no death, no death more awful, no deeds more noble than hers, with the own brother, all the sovereign, did not bury, she wouldn't leave for dog, dog and close with her. Shouldn't her baby go to glory? Isn't she worthy? Mm -hmm. That is the word. It is dark and <coughs> silence. There is no possession, Father, that I honor more than your happiness and fortune. Please, be different this one. Believe in what someone else says for once. Whenever a man supposes that he alone has intelligence or expression or feelings, he exposes himself and shows his enemies. But it's no shame even for a wise man to learn and to relax. Don't be angry, but I will some leeway. Let me give my opinion, young as I am. It would be best if we were born knowing everything, but it is honorable to learn from honest men. What he says is to the point, sir. You may do well to learn from him, and you too from your father. Both have spoken well. Men our age, learn from him. If I happen to be right, suppose I am young. Don't look at my age, look at what I do. What you do? Give your loyalty to rebels? No, nor would I ever encourage anyone else to respect or be faithful to someone who's doing wrong. But didn't that girl do wrong? The whole nation denied it. Will the nation tell me what orders I can give? See, you're talking like a bull. It's my job to rule this land. There is no one else. What country belongs to one man? Nations belong to the men with power. That's common knowledge. You could rule a desert right if you were alone there. Look at him. Taking that woman's side, fighting me. I'm on your side. It's you I'm concerned about. A fine son you are, putting me on the stand. It's because I can see you're making a mistake. You're witness against yourself. What mistake? Respecting my high office? Respecting it? By honoring the God? Rotten. Degraded. On your knees to a woman. Everything you said was for her sake and for my sake. And you're especially. And for the nether God as well. You can tell me I'm on my knees. But you will find that I never surrender when I know something is wrong. There's 
no use. You'll never marry a pigony. Not in this world. Then she'll die, and her death will destroy others. Are you threatening me? No, I argue me. You want your own mind and trying to teach me? Your tears will teach me. If you were my father, I say you lost your mother, father me. You're no man. You're a slave. Property of a woman. And you expect to talk and not listen. And to speak but not be judged by what you said. Just understand. You don't insult me and go off laughing. Bring her here. Let me see her. Kill her here beside her bridegroom. No, you won't. Don't think of me. For I am with you, she will not die. And you. You will never see me again. Stay with your friends with these are friends. And pray that they still miss me. Sir, it was anger that made him run away. When a person with anger is hurt, he can be dangerous. Let him try. Let him imagine. He's only a man. He can't save these two girls. 